when it comes to devices that claim to increase your heart rate variability and improve your vagal tone, two of the most popular ones that you've likely heard of before are the Apollo Neuro and the Sensate Pebble 2. Now, while both devices seem similar on the surface because they stimulate your vagus nerve via gentle vibrations, there's actually quite a bit of difference in the way that they work and in the kind of experience you get from the apps that they come with. So in today's video, we'll be breaking down these differences and hopefully at the end, you'll be able to make an informed decision as to which device is worth your hard-earned money. Okay, first let's talk about aesthetics. I mean, if you're gonna be wearing either of the wearables as a pennant under your shirt, then really who cares? But the Apollo Neuro is theoretically meant to be worn kind of like a watch that you would wear here, or you can also wear it on your ankle. So it is gonna be visible to the outside world and you don't necessarily wanna be wearing something incredibly yucky looking. So Apollo definitely wins in this category because if you look, they have a ton of new options right now. There's like a white and a rose kind of looking one. There's silver. So they're really putting in some effort into the aesthetics of the product. Whereas the Sensei is just a pebble and it looks like a pebble and it is a pebble basically. Point one for Apollo. Next, let's talk about actual usage. So the Apollo Neuro, the way it works is it sends these really soothing gentle calming vibrations when you're using modes that try to calm down your nervous system and you can basically wear them on the inside wrists or the inside parts of your ankles and the fifth way is basically me copying the sensate and i take a necklace put the apollo on the necklace and wear it on my thymus like this so it vibrates my thymus now the sensate only really gives you one option you take the lanyard that it came with put it around your neck raise it so that it's sitting against your thymus and then you'll turn on the vibration and let it vibrate. Now the main difference is that the sensate, the vibrations are actually very powerful. So when it comes to how it actually feels, I would say the sensate wins because the sensate just feels like, do you guys know those Theraguns, those massage guns that you can like put on your muscles and how good that feels? Well, literally that's how good it feels to have it vibrate your thymus. It's just so relaxing and wonderful. The Apollo is basically vibrating kind of in the background. So while it does feel nice, it feels like a little bit of like a, like a kitty purring against you. But overall, if I had to choose, I actually prefer the way the Sensate feels. So plus one point for the Sensate and Apollo still comes in a close second in this regard as well. Next, I wanna take your attention towards a very important part of your experience, which is the app. Now, basically the Sensate app, as you can see, pretty much has two kinds of experiences that it tries to guide you. One is for relaxation and one is for sleep. Whereas the Apollo has all sorts of different experiences that it tries to guide you through, where there's one to kind of wake you up and energize you, one is for like a social mode and others are for calming you down and for getting you to go to sleep. And as a bonus, the Apollo actually has a scheduling feature, which while you're sleeping, you can schedule for it to keep running throughout the night, which will give you better sleep and keep you asleep longer. So clearly the Apollo is the winner in this case. Now, one pretty neat thing that the Sensei has over the Apollo is that each of the modes the Sensei offers actually comes with its own music track and the sensate will vibrate according to the tones of that music. So that's pretty cool. But honestly, I found myself pretty much just using the vibration mode of the sensate and turning off the music because I already have a music app that I like that's already raising my HRV and I found that music to be a lot more effective. It's called brain.fm. But the point I'm trying to make is that I just don't find that this is a huge advantage, so I guess plus half a point for the Sensate for coming with its own music, whereas Apollo did not. And before we get off the topic of apps, I want to mention a very important functionality that should pretty much come standard when you use your device with the app, which is the ability of the device to connect to the app. Now, both the Sensate and the Apollo Neuro, in my experience, 
are pretty bad at this and it takes multiple tries. I have to kill the app. Sometimes it just takes such a long time for me to connect my device to the app so that I can select the mode that I wanna play. So here, the Apollo only wins purely because there's a setting where if you push the two green buttons together, it'll just play the last mode that you had previously. So if I'm not able to connect to the app after a couple of tries, I just give up, I push these two buttons and let the Apollo play the last mode. Sensei does not have this feature, so Apollo gets an extra point in this regard. Finally, what I'd like to do is put these devices to the test and see which one actually raises my heart rate variability the most. So what we'll do is we'll take the Apollo Neuro and put it on the very same lanyard that the Sensei comes with, turn it on, and then I'll show you my HRV before and then 10 minutes after. All right, so as you saw, my Apollo Neuro session basically kept me in the high 30s HRV throughout the whole time. And now let's switch and put on a Sensate and see how that goes. All right, as you can see, I have my Sensate on my neck right now. I'm gonna start the mode and I will see you guys in about 10 minutes and let you know what my HRV looks like. Okay, so as you saw, my Sensate HRV was also averaging approximately in the high 30s. So not much of a difference between the two. So I'd say that one is a tie. But a very important note is the vibration intensity that you saw in my Sensate app, as well as the vibration intensity that you saw in my Apollo Neuro app. I came up with these values using a heart rate variability monitor. So to determine my optimal vibration settings, what I did was I take the vibration threshold all the way to the lowest, start the vibrations, and use my leaf monitor to see if that started to increase my HRV. Now, then I would slide the vibration over just a little bit more to see if the increased vibration would increase my HRV even more. And that's how I was actually able to find my optimal vibration settings for both apps. And I encourage you to do the same. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. Give it a big like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.